Hello, in today's Cubase quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can monitor your pre-send effect even when the track itself is muted. So let me explain with two examples. The first one is with sidechain compression. So right now I'm sending my kick drum to this compressor here which is compressing this percussion loop. So if I solo these two here, I can monitor them. We can hear the kick drum, and we can hear the percussion loop. And we can see that the kick drum is actually compressing the percussion loop every time the kick comes in, it's compressing. Now, <clears throat> let's say I wanted to monitor just the percussion loop, but with the uh, the sidechain compression going on. So what I've done is I've unmuted, or sorry, unsoloed the kick and muted it. And now if we monitor it, all we hear is the percussion loop. Now the reason being is that we're sending this kick drum post fader. And the mute and the solo buttons are part of the fader section. So because I have this track muted, that means that we're not actually sending any signal. Um, the workaround to this is to send it pre-fader, so you can right-click this and click pre-fader, or you can click this little button here, which changes. And now if we monitor, we're still not getting that kick drum signal sent. So I couldn't really understand why this was in Cubase. Um, I've been able to do this in other DAWs, especially with Pro Tools. Um, Pro Tools routes things a little bit differently. But the thing to do here is Cubase, by default, has a certain setting that you have to change. So you go into File and Preferences, and all the way down to this VST section right here. And this third checkbox here, this is what you do not want checked. So what this says is Mute Pre-Send When Mute which is exactly what we do not want in what I'm trying to do here. So when we uncheck this and hit OK, now because this is in pre-send and we're muting the track, it's no longer going to mute that pre-send when it's muted. So now when we monitor, we're actually getting that kick drum signal sent and now it's sidechain compressing even though the kick drum is muted. So this is perfect. Okay, so for the second example, I'm going to use reverb. Now I have this track here, this little percussion loop. And I have quite a bit of reverb. But let's say I want to fine tune that reverb without having anything sounding. I just want to hear the reverb. So with a post send, if I mute this and have just the reverb, I hear nothing. But if I switch this to pre-fader, now I have the reverb, and I can fine-tune it however I need it. And then I can put back the loop, correct the send level, and then I can continue monitoring my track. To be honest, I do not know why Cubase has that set by default. To me, that d that makes no sense because I want full control of what's being monitored, what's soloed, muted, etc. And by having that mute pre-send uh, enabled by default, that means that you have less sort of configurability with your monitoring. And that's kind of annoying. And for me, it took l a long time to figure out how to properly configure Cubase just to get what I wanted uh, for monitoring wise. So hopefully you like that. That took me a long time to figure out and I use it quite a lot now actually. Um, yeah, if you like it, leave a like, maybe hit that subscribe button. I will be doing more Cubase quick tips uh, in the future. So thanks for watching and bye bye.